Today we're going to go over 200 crayons from Crayola that include Colors of the World. Will it have unique colors in there? Like just be 200 unique colors? I certainly hope so. So let's open this box and find out. I'm also going to sort it for you so we can get all 200 colors in a pretty rainbow and then we're gonna put them back in the box and it's gonna be lots of fun. I hope you guys like this video. Hit that subscribe button below so you can find lots of other cool videos and be notified when I get new videos coming out. I have all sorts of videos on sorting, on different swatches of different art materials, so check those out, let me know what you think, and let's get this video going. This box of crayons you can only get from Sam's Club right now. I don't know if that'll change. So I thought it was interesting because Sam's Club is like a paid membership. So we have our box of 200 crayons. The sides are decorated with all the crayons, which is super cute. The bottom has information of the colors of the world on the back. Then we got colors of the world on the side. So what does it look like inside when we open it? Kind of like the 120 box except for it's twice as wide which is really promising that they're making a box this size so let's see if they've included unique colors in here or if there's duplicates so we know that these colors of the world are unique and let's go through we're gonna sort these also okay right away i'm seeing duplicates so this is the same box right here. Let's look at this one. Another same box. Which is disappointing. I'm like, if you're going to go to all this trouble, why not make them unique? This one looks unique. These are standard colors, which is interesting. Let's see if they've duplicated those. But Okay, that's the same box. These are, again, the same box. And then, same box. Mm, that's disappointing. I was hoping they would put all the colors in here. So if we look here too, there is no pencil sharpener in this box. It looks like there might be room to put it if they wanted to put it right here. So it's a little wider than the normal 120 box. But let's get these sorted. I'll show you all the boxes really fast before we sort them. Then we have our 24. So let's look, let's talk about this real fast. So we've got one, two, three, four, four, five, six. So we've got six original boxes. So six times 16 is 96. 96. So it's like we have a box of 96 crayons plus 24. This is like 120 box essentially, which I guess I don't understand why they didn't just make it 120 box. The price point on this isn't super high. It was like $13, but maybe let's cross fingers are paving way to make a 200 count box. That would be pretty cool, but right now we're not getting it, but we'll still sort these and I'll let you know what colors come in them. So it's easiest just to sort them. And you know me, I just like to dump all the crayons out. Let's see, let's do these. Woo, that, it's just so satisfying to dump them all out. Okay, we're even gonna dump out the colors of the world. So we will include them in our, in our sorting. So we are gonna push all these over here. Ha, ah, we lost a few. To the side. I, first off, I wanna say I do not have a Sam's Club membership. We're just gonna start sorting these out. That my friend actually does. So I asked one of my friends, I said, hey, can you give me these crayons? I wanted to be able to show them to you guys. I'm super grateful that she got them. I feel like sometimes my website is like, a lot of people are helping me with it. So it's super nice. Like my cousin who sent me a whole bunch of, she went and got a whole bunch of crayons for me. That was, because they were in her town. So we are just getting into town sorting these. Okay, they're looking. 
looking pretty. So, so far, I don't know if that 168 count box is available at Walmart anymore. That was the biggest one that I've seen so far. What is this called, maroon? I don't know, it's kind of like a reddish wrapper. Okay, let's start oranges over in this one. More yellowish. Okay, I'm just like thinking. So it's Friday. I'm actually filming on Friday, not Saturday. I'm trying to get these out earlier because it feels like my Saturdays are filling up so much that I cannot. Oh, I lost another crayon. I'll get it in a minute. I'm filling up so fast that I cannot get my filming done and editing on the same day anymore. So it's probably good too. It's like uh, so I actually I have a blog post. I was going to do a video. I have the video like idea mostly done, but I have this blog post that talks about, you can check it out. Oh, boy, we're losing crayons over here. Um, so it talks about color theory. What time I should sort them according to like hue, saturation, value, all that kind of stuff. We have like a lot of different fluorescence in here. I mean, our neons, they don't call them fluorescence anymore. I need to keep up with the times, right? That was so 1990s. Early 2000s. And then we'll put our greens right here. So like these are totally mixed with lots of different colors. But it'd be fun to like dissect a color and be like, what is this color made of? So anyway, I go through like the hue and the saturation and value and combinations. And you can see, and I've said this countless times, how I totally skipped yellow, right? I said yellow. We'll get to yellow. I feel like there's not as much yellow crayon since they took dandelion out. Just feels like there's getting less and less. Sad for us that love yellows. Those are happy. I'm also doing the crayon tournament. So like this one? Oh yeah, and then you talked about adding gray, so you got shade is where you uh, add brown to like a crayon color or a color like pigment. Not brown. You add black. I'm trying to do two things at once. My brain's like, what? Concentrate on what you're doing. Okay, so a shade is when you add black to a tint. A tone is when you add gray. And then a tint is when you just add white. So you have these three factors that can go into your crayon colors or any colors for that matter. That's what makes it difficult to put crayons in a linear order because there's more than just there's like more factors than just that. 
And then, so that's one factor. And then you can also have the mix together. So all these factors kind of pull in, make it difficult to go in a layer because if you were just sorting by like the grayness, your colors might not all be good. I'm just gonna pull out a bunch of I think I did this in the last video where I just started pulling them out, right? I figured I'd sort this for you guys today because I know you'd ask for it. <laughs> and I'd be like, oh, okay, well, let me get this sorted for you. Okay. Got one more red over here. Okay, the red pretty much look. We might put some of these pinks from the multicultural in, but we'll see. Okay. This is a very yellow. I did a 208 box when, yeah, last year. I don't think. Oh, I need to organize these ones. That one looks super yellow. So, this one, spring green, does not have a lot. pigment to it. So I guess that's what I was trying to say. Whereas this one does, so it's, but it's got um, a lot of yellow in it too. This one's got like blue in it. So that's how I sort is I just kind of look for what tone is in it. I'm actually put these over here. So it just depends sometimes you'll get like a brown that's how you get brown is you just mix a bunch of colors but then you have a dominant color definitely green up here this is more like a green blue this is more like asparagus is more like a brown almost to our blues. I like doing it this way, just gathering like all the random colors and 
kind of easy to put them away after that. And the wrappers make it super easy to do it that way. They're definitely bluish, greenish, I mean. So like this one, the wild blue yonder is definitely like more gray. And so is like cadet blue, has more like of a grayish tone to it. This one's like got a purpley hue to it. I mean, so you could do it that way. Like that's another way of sorting crayons would be to Sort them. Okay, so we're gonna put some here now. Oops. They wanna get lost. Okay. These are definitely like a more purple, but they have the green wrapper, which is kind of odd. It's not like 100% accurate. Blue green. Let's see my other blue green. Oh, some of these might not have doubles. I just remembered that. I was like looking for the double, but yeah, there's one pack that does not have doubles. So. That makes sense. Okay, I'm gonna have to go through and figure this one out. Okay. And these ones, I wanna have the more bluish ones up here. The red ones down here. Should we do like silvers? I don't see a ton of grays in here. Interesting. There are a ton of browns because we have the colors of the world. That's so. Now we get to go into our browns. Which is interesting because now we have colors of the world mixed with our regular colors. Let's just kind of throw these all in together. And our colors of the world have like certain undertones like almond, golden, and then what is the other one? Rose. So, just have to pair it up with our. Maybe I'll put the rose ones near the bottom because oh, we're gonna run out of space. Don't tell me. Okay. Interesting. Okay, so where? Maybe we could put two more up here. Okay. Just straighten all these out. So rose ones, we're gonna put down here. And we'll put like the more reddish browns down here too. So like this is a shade lighter. Both of those are. Okay, so over here, a rose, very deep rose. It's definitely like more of a This is an almond. Oh gosh. I know 
we've done this before. Incorporating these into regular colors is a little bit more tricky. You can do it by shade, you can do it by color. Oh, there's only one. I'm like trying to find doubles, but there's not. I do like just putting all the light ones together, kind of. Okay. This is definitely like a redder. Um, oh, that's peach. And we do have peach in there. All right, next, we'll get the peaches together. They did improve a ton on these colors. So this is like a more orangey color. And that other one. Okay. I know what I did. I set this down here so then they wouldn't. Okay, where? Okay. Deep froze. Deep almonds. I know that was a rose, but I just want to put it in the darker. put them in the right order. You can use them for more than just, like you could use them for hair. So this could be really extension. You could combine these with the, with like each other kind of. Copper has a brown tone to it. So you could use that for hair and stuff. Okay. Definitely looks more like this one. Okay. Is this looking at all decent? I don't know. It's like these golds are a lot more yellow than anything is on here. Okay. We'll just let these be like they are. Maybe. Okay. I'm like a stickler for it looking good. Like this needs to come down a little bit, right? I think we can even do a couple more up here. Ah. Now I am going to organize these so we can look at all the color names. I can tell you exactly what colors come here. This is standard 96.
they're all in order. That took me way longer than I wanted it to, and I took some pictures. I'm gonna say all the names for the colors, okay? So we've got Lavender, Mobilis, Fuchsia, Red Violet, Cerise, Magenta, Jazzberry Jam, Purple Pizzazz, Maroon, Brick Red, Violet, Razzmatazz, Oh, we got purple pizzazz and razzmatazz. Wild strawberry, red, violet, red, tickle me pink, carnation pink, salmon, hot magenta, razzle dazzle rose, shocking pink, wild watermelon, radical red, melon, scarlet, mango tango, red orange, vivid tangerine, outrageous orange, yellow orange, orange, neon carrot, macaroni and cheese, atomic tangerine, sun glow, apricot, peach, and mellow yellow, goldenrod yellow, laser lemon, green yellow, spring green, olive green. And over here we have inchworm, electric lime, asparagus, forest green, screaming green, granny smith apple green, shamrock. Did I say the wrong one up here? Oh, yellow green up there. So yeah, went yellow green, granny smith apple, shamrock green, pine green. Tropical Rainforest, Jungle Green, Sea Green, Robin's Egg Blue, Blue Green, Turquoise Blue, Sky Blue, Blue Wild Blue Yonder, Cadet Blue, Cornflower, Pacific Blue, Sterling, Periwinkle, Navy Blue, Blue, Denim, Beautiful, Midnight Blue, Indigo, Purple Mountains Majesty, Blue Violet, Royal Purple, Wisteria, Orchid, Violet Purple, Plum, Silver, Timberwolf, gray, white, black, deepest almond, extra deep almond, extra deep golden, very deep almond, very deep rose, extra deep rose, deep almond, sepia, brown, medium deep almond, copper, deep golden, raw sienna, medium deep golden, tumbleweed, light medium golden, medium golden, medium almond, light golden, light medium almond, almond very light golden, Gold, burnt sienna, tan, burnt orange, bittersweet, mahogany, chestnut, deep rose, medium deep rose, light medium rose, light rose, very light rose, light almond, very light almond, and extra light almond. So extra is extra, very light is not as light, so it's interesting. Now I'm going to put these back in the box. I'll probably leave the browns for the colors of the world. So this is gonna be super fun. Cause now I'll be able to get the colors whenever I want them. They'll look really pretty in this box. That's why I love sorting crayons is to make them easy to use or any art supply for that matter. <laughs> so we got our first box. I kind of hold it a little bit to the side like this. Otherwise, sometimes, well, I say that. <laughs> yeah, sometimes that kind of stuff will happen even more so when you aren't holding it like this. box so they're all besides the 24 colors of the world they're all sorry they are all 16 count boxes but I am disappointed because I wish there was 200 unique color names. There's only 120. So they took out the metallics to put in. They took out the metallics and they must have taken out one more, like eight more. Oh, they just probably took out everything that wasn't in the, they probably just, sorry. 
They probably just put in everything that was in the 96 can box. So whatever extra colors they add in the 120 box, they did not put into this box. But I am waiting for the day when they release a 200 count box that has unique colors. I don't know why they couldn't. They did it with a 168. And this was kind of like a one-off box too. I don't know if it'll, like, it just made its debut at Sam's Club, but right now you can only get it there, which I think is interesting because they've done exclusive boxes at like Walmart and Target and Amazon or introduce them there first. But, oh, I got one more. You don't have to pay a membership at any of those places. I mean, Amazon Prime, you pay extra if you want it shipped quickly, but you don't have to have a membership to ship sh shop on Amazon. And for me, I really didn't want to pay $100 just to get a box of crayons because not everyone has Sam's clothes by them. I know they don't always sell to all the countries either, but you would think in a country they would want to sell. Maybe they just wanted to do a limited run to see how it would sell. But the thing is, if you're not going to do a 200 count exclusive box, like... I don't know, this box might do well, because it's pretty and all that. But, people are gonna be like, oh, what, what, that's my reaction as soon as I opened it. Oh, there's duplicates. If you buy a big box, you want them to be unique. Otherwise it's like, well, why not just buy a 96 count box and the 24 colors of the world? I mean, you do get doubles. I don't know how much, it's probably cheaper to do it that way. I can't remember how much a 96 count box is. I feel like, well, when they did their caddy, well, that was super expensive. I think it's probably just because the caddy uh, was more expensive to make. That's why that was so expensive. But now I feel like, you know, back in the day, it seemed like it was so expensive to get a big box of crayons, but now it's not at all. It tells you the crayons aren't super expensive. It's the containers that they put them in. Even the... 168 was like $20, so these are pretty cheap, and I feel like the ones on Amazon are more also. Like, they do have 200 count boxes on Amazon, but those, I have, I got the 208 from Crayola.com. I have not gotten the 200 from Amazon. I think that one is duplicates too. Most of the time, I actually have been getting them for you guys now because you guys like to see them. But before that, I like, like never got the big, huge boxes just because for me, I'd rather get boxes and have them be unique and have them be like all the same colors. So if I'm gonna get a box, I wanna if it was all unique colors, I'd be one thing. They did do a 120. That's why I was surprised. I feel like they could have put it in. They did a 120. Sorry, my thoughts are everywhere. They did a 120 of all the special effects. And I feel like they could really easily do this box and put in the special effects. Or did they get a little out of order? Like, I don't want to go back and order. Okay. We just have our 24. 
colors of the world. I like incorporating the colors of the world and I kind of said this as I was organizing them because you can use some of the other colors too with them, like the other browns. It's got a pretty good palette. If you want to see swatches of these, I don't have like an individual swatch chart for this exact box, but none of these colors are unique to this box. So if you just pull up the colors of the world chart and the 120, you get that. I mean, I guess it'd be nice to have swatch charts of all the individual boxes, but maybe that's something I can offer at another time. Almost done. This looks so pretty. I love all the browns in here just because the box is, has that brown tone to it. Okay. Like trying to put them in order. Okay. This is how they will sit, I think, in the box. Isn't that super pretty? You can't really see. I don't think, oh, that's, that'd be nice if you could like stand them up. It'd be so pretty. So what you can do is you can just put them down like that a little bit. I mean, you could put the reds, so the reds stay on the top of the box, whatever you want. Doesn't really matter as long as, when you pull them out to use them, they are in order. <laughs> and then so this one kind of tucked in like this. And you could take this out, but then your crayons would probably fall out. So it's nice they have it in there. But there you go, 200 crayons sorted in color order. There's 120 unique crayons in this box. I hope you guys like this video. Check out some of my other sorting videos for some of the big boxes or some of my colored pencil videos. I hope you guys like them. I hope you like this video and we'll see you in the next video.